Let's think about marketplaces for a moment. Before 1916, a shopper would enter a store, tell the shopkeeper what they wanted, and then the shopkeeper would gather up the items and return to the front with an order. So what changed the game for everyone in the US was a store called Piggly Wiggly, who disrupted the model with a distributed locations of self-serve grocery stores. Now the average grocery store has around 40,000 products, and the average super center has about 120,000 products, these are staggering numbers, right? Well, Amazon is quickly approaching over half a billion products, and these items find their way to your doorstep in 48 hours, and in some locations can deliver in just minutes. In this new world of democratized distribution, marketplaces, and even currency, how can you disrupt and stand out from the rest? In other words, how can you hedge your bets and increase your chances of being seen, retaining that attention, communicating your value clearly and quickly, and ultimately converting that attention to a sale. In this course, you're going to be presented with resources and insight into how shoppers and consumers make decisions and how packaging and marketing influences our behavior to buy. You will get the tools you need to incorporate disruption into your packaging design that will add your product to that shopping cart. In this course, we're going to cover four components of human factors. Perception. What do people look at? And how do they look at things? And why do they look at the things they do? We will learn what influences perception and the methods of increasing shopper behavior to ensure your products and packaging are seen. So cognition. What are the processes shoppers use to make decisions? How do they decide on the right products for their needs? We're gonna learn how consumers read a package, leverage memory, react to visuals, and create reasoning through their experiences. Appeal. What do shoppers find attractive and appealing? We will learn how behavior is heavily influenced by your packaging and marketing strategy. And finally, decisions. What factors influence a consumer's ultimate decision to buy? Studying human factors is important for everyone in the development process. If you are developing packaging, Understanding how your shoppers interact with your media is essential. If you are responsible for sales and performance, it's essential that you understand these factors to assess design at a high level and give feedback and guidance to your staff to optimize the potential success of your product. To assist you in these endeavors, we'll give you a downloadable assessment sheet to score any package design in five minutes using the dozens of methods that you're going to learn in this course. At the Packaging School, we go the extra mile to help you bridge course theory to practical applications. This course can be complemented with supplementary materials for a deeper dive. We offer Human Factors Workbook and the Golden Ratio Calipers to help you design and evaluate your packaging layout. There's a lot to learn as we uncover how you can effectively use Human Factors to your advantage in packaging design. So let's get started.